even though the left and anti-establishment candidates lost during the 2020 Democratic Party primary, we got some really fantastic leaders that emerged out of this process. And even if I had policy disagreements with individuals like Marianne Williamson and Andrew Yang, the work that they're doing for the progressive movement, it's showing how invaluable they are to not just the movement, but to the country. So last week we talked about how Marianne Williamson endorsed primary challengers to members of Democratic Party leadership. She endorsed Michaela Wilkes running against Steny Hoyer and Shahid Buttar running, of course, against Nancy Pelosi. And she also has endorsed, you know, a plethora of other congressional candidates such as Eva Putsova and whatnot. So that's so important because these candidates oftentimes lose because they don't have name recognition. And when you're trying to build a campaign based on grassroots, getting recognized by people with, you know, these large platforms with millions of followers, that is so valuable. So I gave Marianne Williamson a lot of credit for that. And now I'm going to give Andrew Yang a lot of credit because him, along with his organization, Humanity Forward, have also been endorsing a lot of really solid congressional candidates. And two of them that he just endorsed are Jen Perlman running in Florida's 23rd congressional district against Debbie Wasserman Schultz, as well as uh, Russ Cirincione who's running against Frank Pallone. So first of all, Jen Perlman tweeted out, we are thrilled to be endorsed today by Andrew Yang. His humanity first approach to politics mirrors what our service-based campaign is all about. Let's unseat Washerman Schultz together, Yang gang. And she includes a quote from Andrew Yang, which says, Jen Perlman is first and foremost an activist. She was born and raised in Florida where she attended marches and protests with her parents growing up. Today, she uses her law degree to protect voting rights, defend women's reproductive health, and help people navigate the criminal justice system. All pro bono. Her campaign events are all volunteer service events. A gen victory would truly be cause for celebration. I am proud to endorse her. And when it comes to Russ Cirincione running in New Jersey's 6th Congressional District, he writes, Today it is with great honor that I announce the Russ for U.S. 2020 campaign has received the endorsement of Andrew Yang and Humanity Forward. And along with that tweet, he included this video where he announces the endorsement of Andrew Yang. Hey everybody, this is Russ Cirincione. I'm running for Congress in New Jersey. And I'm so happy and I'm super thankful to share that I'm endorsed by Humanity Forward and Andrew Yang. Because we really need math, the facts, the data to guide us. And Humanity Forward knows these values are true. As a millennial, we're known for changing the rules of the game and shaking things up. It's time to build an economy that puts people first, that meets all of our basic human needs. With 40 million jobs lost because of COVID, we need a federal jobs guarantee and a universal basic income for every single person. We can do things better as a nation and live up to our full potential. My name is Russ Cirincione. I'm running for Congress in New Jersey 6th. Go to my website at russforus2020.com. So that's fantastic. Listen, these endorsements are absolutely crucial. I cannot stress that enough. If you are running for Congress and you have zero name recognition and not very much money and you're going up against a behemoth of an incumbent, these endorsements are everything. Members of the Yang Gang and people who follow Andrew Yang, the millions of followers that he has, are learning about Jen Perlman and Russ Cirincione for the first time because of Andrew Yang. He has nothing to gain by making these endorsements, but you can tell he's endorsing these people because he cares about them. And think about this. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is one of the most notoriously anti-left, anti-progressive members of Congress. In case you forgot, she rigged an entire presidential primary against the left in 2016. So this person has got to lose her job. And putting that aside, putting aside 2016, her record is atrocious. She doesn't support Medicare for all. And in the case of Frank Pallone in New Jersey's 6th con Congressional District, he sits on a powerful committee that can ensure that we never get Medicare for all. So these are individuals who absolutely must be defeated. And for Andrew Yang to endorse the primary challengers to prominent Democrats, he's making waves. And this actually, you could argue, hurts him. It hurts him going forward because 
assuming he's going to run for president again in 2024 or 2028, you know, you ideally want to make inroads with the Democratic Party. This was Elizabeth Warren's key strategy, right? You butter up members of the establishment and you get them to like you. Andrew Yang is pissing off people here. So whenever you see a politician or a public figure endorse someone who's challenging an incumbent Democrat, I need you to acknowledge that takes a level of courage that other politicians are not exhibiting. This is big. This is substantial. And I'm very thankful that Andrew Yang and his organization are making these endorsements because honestly, these endorsements, like I'm not going to say that they're make or break, but it gives people running these races that are difficult, a lot of momentum. And hopefully that momentum will kind of turn into this snowball effect, right? So this is fantastic. Uh, some of these people, uh, Jen Perlman has been uh, endorsed by Marianne Williamson and Andrew Yang. I don't know about Russ, but I will say that all of these endorsements of congressional candidates is really, really important because even if the left and the anti-establishment uh, in general, just if you think of them as a block, even though we all lost collectively, I mean, we still have a lot of races that matter to us. We may have lost the presidency, but if we can actually knock out a few prominent Democrats who are holding us back, I mean, that would be huge. It would be a boost that our movement needs. So this is why, you know, you never want to focus on one race. You know, politics isn't just about electoral politics. It's mostly about organizing. But when you do focus on electoral politics, you know, the presidency isn't everything. And I say this knowing the irony as someone, you know, who focused almost exclusively on the presidential election. But, you know, it's tough not to when we're this close to power. But, you know, we have to recenter ourselves from time to time and acknowledge what's really important. And it's these congressional races where we can still make a difference, where we can have an impact. And I'm so thankful that leaders like Andrew Yang and Marion Williamson are continuing to show us that they are dedicated. They didn't just run for a vanity project or because they wanted a book deal. They ran because they believed in something. And that really is rare in politics. So whenever I see a politician, even if I don't necessarily agree with them on everything, pop up that actually is principled, you know, I value them because that is rare nowadays.